So a couple years later, everybody in their infinite wisdom down in Turtle Land decided that it was finally correct and proper to release the arcade game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Now, a lot of people claim that this game was a huge disappointment because it didn't have the graphical intensity and the four-player fun of the original arcade game. However, I'm going to be the first one to say that I completely disagree with these notions at all costs, simply because it was one of my favorite games in the catalog that I had for the NES Entertainment System, bar none. Why? First off, you're put in an environment where you're able to take out characters that you know and love. You're taking out foot soldiers. You're taking out all sorts of freaking foot soldiers. Like, the amount of foot soldiers doubled, tripled, quadrupled. In the original game, you just have one breed of foot soldier. Your standard run-of-the-mill piece of shit purple foot soldier. Now you have purple foots. Now you have white foots. Now you have, you know, little maroon foots. You have ones that are throwing shit at you. You have spear foots. There were different characters in this game, and it was unique. Secondly, you're facing bosses that you're used to. Yeah, you still have to face Rocksteady and Bebop in the early stages. But in this case, it's fine. Why? Because you're dealing with Baxter Stockman later on, and you do face the Shredder. And you also finally face Krang. Thank you fucking Christ! It had to happen. And you know that it needed to happen. It was something that needed to be in the movies, but wasn't. But Krang makes an appearance in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, and believe me, it's something that you want to check out. Now, people say that this game absolutely sucks because it added two extra levels, and they're both pieces of garbage because there's no real tie-in to the actual game. That much I can actually agree on to a certain extent after revisiting those levels. Really, the zoo being overridden by some sort of, you know, sub-zero climate, some sort of new Arctic winter, yeah, I can understand. That's pretty crappy. And then the whole Chinese restaurant level, I actually thought that was pretty neat. But, hey, if you guys hate it, then fuck, what the hell do I know? I'm just some shit that's deciding to review this crap. In the end, you face Shredder. You have to face three of them. I mean, it's like the arcade game. There are many aspects about this game that are like the arcade game. Now, of course, unlike the arcade game, there's a couple uh, different things, such as the feature of advertising that the irate gamer actually mentioned. But who the fuck cares? Pizza Hut was at the height of its popularity in the 1990s because of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And you have to remember, they ate pizza. So this is something that they were going to do regardless. And it just made sense. Considering they were pizza-loving turtles, you have to have ads in there for pizza. Make kids love pizza. If you want to be like a Ninja Turtle, you got to want the pizza. And even the ones with anchovies and peanut butter, which I remember from an episode of of the uh, original television series. This game, in my opinion, was what the first game should have been. It should have been like the arcade game, you should have had more bosses that you recognized from the television series, and it should have been a lot of fun just like this game was. There weren't any difficult jumps, the puzzles were absolutely simple, mostly because it was just side-scrolling, there were no real puzzles to it. In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1, you almost had to be a rocket scientist to figure some of the shit out. Which sewer you were supposed to go down to? Which place you were supposed to go? What a fuckload of ass! I was five years old whenever this game came out. Yeah, I was bright for my age, but who the fuck cares? I want to play a game to have fun and beat it, not to use my brain. I go to school for that! I take tests for that! I did pretty good on the tests, but whenever it came to the game, it was like, Shit! I see a door! I want to go in it! I don't give a fuck if I'm not supposed to go in it, but I want to go in it. Shit, there's a whole bunch of people here. Fuck, I just died. Fuck, I gotta start over. Fuck, shit, I love two better than one.